Russians got order to capture Chasiv Yar by May the 9th. Ukrainian forces fortify defense. Russian troops have been ordered to capture the town of Chasiv Yar in Donetsk Oblast by May the 9th. Ukrainian armed forces are strengthening defense in this direction to contain the enemy's advance, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on Facebook. Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Alexander Sirsky, noted that the enemy is attempting to breach the defense west of Bakhmut to reach the Siversky Donets Donbass Channel. Capturing Chasiv Yar will create conditions for further enemy advancement towards the Kramatorsk agglomeration. Sirsky emphasized that Ukrainian brigades have dug in effectively. Indeed, the armed forces managed to destroy infantry groups that advanced into the Novi micro district. Occupiers were eliminated by FPV kamikaze strikes and artillery fire. However, the threat remains relevant considering that the Russian military command has tasked its troops with capturing Chasiv Yar by May the 9th, Sirsky noted. According to him, measures have been taken to significantly reinforce brigades with ammunition, drones and electronic warfare assets to strengthen our troops' defense in this direction. The main conclusion from the two-day work on the front line is the necessity to enhance the quality of training, including the morale-psychological component, increase the number of high-tech unmanned systems of various purposes with trained operators, and improve the quality of conducting asymmetric actions to reduce the enemy's combat potential, added the chief. Overall, following the capture of Avdiivka, Russian forces continue to push further eastward in an attempt to break through the defense. One of the enemy's priorities is Chasiv Yar. The Ministry of Defense emphasized that the village of Bodanivka in the Bakhmut district remains under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces where heavy fighting is ongoing. The modernized Ukrainian uncrewed surface vessels can now deliver nearly a ton of explosives over more than 1,000 kilometers. This means that the security service of Ukraine can target practically any point in the Black Sea. Artem Dektyarenko, spokesperson for the security service of Ukraine said this. Dektyarenko did not disclose all the technical specifications but noted that these are next-generation drones, on the improvement of which experts from the security service of Ukraine, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and other brothers-in-arms are working together. He mentioned that the current Sea Baby uncrewed surface vessel differs from the previous model in appearance and technical characteristics. In addition, it is capable of delivering almost a ton of explosives over more than 1,000 kilometers. Dektyarenko said there were no alternatives to the security service of Ukraine's attack surface vessels worldwide in 2022. Existing Western drones were large but not maneuverable, making them easily detectable by enemy's radar stations recall. In October 2022, uncrewed surface vessels of the security service of Ukraine attacked the Russian Black Sea fleet ships in Sevastopol Bay, damaging, in particular, the frigate Admiral Makarov in 2023. Uncrewed surface vessels of the security service of Ukraine struck the corvette Samum and Pavel Dirjavin, the tanker SIG, the landing ship Olenogorsky Gornyak, and damaged. The tugboat Professor Nikolai Muru and the latest reconnaissance and hydrographic ship Vladimir Kozitsky.